These puppies have just been let out from their little area in here. So they get penned up at night. They're weaned from mum. We want to talk here about poop and how poop can be just a roaring pain in the butt for you and how you want to fix this problem. The problem is puppies messing all over the place and puppies eating their own poop. So why do they do this? Because they learn it from mum. Mum's been stimulating them from when they were first born and cleaning up the poop herself. So th there's a number of reasons why I don't like this. It's not necessarily good for mum. It certainly teaches the puppies this behavior of eating poop. And the whole thing is just gross. Yeah. So you wean puppies, they're away from mum. If you can get them to potty in one area, you've a long ways towards solving the problem. So this is what we have come up with. It works very well. I've got two different sizes here. So this one here is the larger one. And the whole idea behind this is, is that puppies will now poop in this one area. The poop falls through, so it's easy for us to collect the poop up. And it stops puppies from being able to eat the poop because that's what they like to do. And then we've got another one, smaller one, that goes inside when they're at night. You can see that they, you can see they missed that one area. There's a bit of poop that came down there to be cleaned up. Presumably what happened there was the puppy was actually on it and had his butt hanging over the edge and so it missed the tray. So the bigger the tray is, the less likely that's going to happen. But obviously you can't fit a very big tray inside the cage where they are. So that's why we've got this small one. Um, okay, so this whole thing really has made life less. It's not perfect, but it's darn close to being perfect. And they will get better and better at this. I mean, they have to learn to potty in one place. And we had this system in place with mum in here as well. So for the most part, mum wasn't eating the poop up because we got to the point where puppies would go over and poop in the right area. So this gives you a better idea of it. Um, so the important points here are, in coming up with this solution, you have to make this thing solid enough that puppies aren't feeling like it's unstable. It has to be not too high so that puppies, this is about three quarters of an inch, so puppies can step up onto it. If it's too high, they won't get up on it. The spacing has to be close enough together so the puppy's feet won't fall through it, but it has to be far enough apart so the poop will fall through it. So this is what we found was the right way to do it. So uh, this whole thing's uh, 29 inches by 16 inches. It's hinged so that you can very easily change the poop out, change the, get rid of that. We've got a pee pad in there, but you can put a paper towel in there, it'd be fine. It's got enough weight that puppies are not gonna be able to lift this thing up by themselves. It has stainless steel hinges so the puppies can't chew through it. It's vinyl coated so that it's easy to clean and it's hygienic. 